Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Richard, and here we have today the Yamaha RD350R. This particular machine was built in 1992 and sat in a showroom for five years and wasn't registered until 1997. Obviously that was the period when uh, when everybody was moving away from the two strokes into the four stroke offerings of the time. So this one sat there in a in a showroom for five years catching dust uh, until someone actually bought it. Now the last person that I bought it from owned this from 2002 and apparently the father used to take this uh, on his fishing trips um, to go fishing locally or whatever. How he put his fishing rods on it, I've no idea, but that's that's the story. And then was handed over to his son upon his death a few years ago, uh, to which then um, I bought it off his son. So 1997 registered, it's currently got 12,300 miles on it. And sadly, I have to tell you that this is going up for sale. Uh, the guy is picking it up in an hour's time and uh, he's really happy with it. He's had a good listen to it and he said he's never heard uh, an RD350 engine sound so smooth. Uh, so he's over the moon with this. It is a lovely bike. It's had the suspension on the front upgraded. It's had Hagon uh, suspension on the rear. Um, that's great. It makes it handle so much better. Uh, the front has Triumph 955i calipers over the original rotors um, and it works fantastically. The brakes on the front end are absolutely spot on. It feels so modern when you ride it now. But I'm sadly letting it go. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why I'm letting it go. I need a bit more space I, and uh, I'm suffering from some pain in my shoulder so I'm not going to be able to ride it this summer. Uh, it's been wonderful to own. If you're thinking about buying an RD350, one of the LCs or the YPVSs or anything like that, I would highly recommend it. It gets so many looks on the street and people look and smile and uh, you know in its standard condition with the standard exhausts and it's been unfettered uh, it's absolutely wonderful. It's so fun to ride. The only thing missing is all the mates that were riding the two strokes from the 1980s and 90s that I used to hang around with. So you you know you you do ride it alone. Uh, she's she's been wonderful. She's super reliable. Uh, I, I wish I wasn't letting her go, but I do have to let her go. I do have to let her go. We're going into the winter period soon in the UK. Currently it's July. It's coming up the end of July. Uh, so I need to prepare for winter. Now, as you probably know, I've got a Triumph T120, which is my bike. I've got another bike that's up for sale as well, but that's another story. Uh, but I need to get a hack. So I'm thinking about the Triumph Scrambler 400 for a winter hack. So I'm going to be looking at that maybe later today, later tomorrow, uh, at the Staffordshire Triumph, and maybe get a brand new one, or possibly second hand. Um, so that's the that that's the way forward for me going into the winter of 2024. I'm sad to see it go. Prices, right? Let's be open and transparent. You see so many of the RD350 YPVSs or the LCs or whatever going for £9,500, but you never see, you never find out what price they actually sold for. So I'm being open and transparent on this one. This one is, uh, has been sold for £6,000. But remember, this is a bit of an oddity. It's only got 12,000 miles on it. It was registered in 1997. So it must be one of the last RD350s registered in the UK. It must be. Yeah, so it's a bit of an oddity. Uh, and she's in really, really good condition. Uh, so this one has been sold for £6,000. That gives you a flavour of how much these bikes are worth. 
when they're advertised for nine and a half thousand pound. No, I'm not so sure that they actually sell for nine and a half thousand pound. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but uh, uh, you know, I just don't, I just don't think that they sell at that price. We also know in July two thousand and twenty-four. The market for the for motorcycles seems to be crashing. There's a lots and lots of deals on at the moment where prices are being slashed on new motorbikes and second-hand motorbikes. Uh, and we're going to talk about pricing in a future video and my thoughts on this. Uh, but we'll come to that. But yeah, she's a lovely machine. I'm going to be sad to see her go. She's been fun while I've had it and while I've ridden it. And... If you're thinking about getting an RD350 or an RD250 or a Suzuki X7, I highly recommend that you go out and buy one and have a bit of a good time. Uh, they are great fun uh, and I am sad to see this go, but things must move on for me. Uh, and that's about it. I hope you found this informative. There are other videos on the channel of this RD350 right being ridden. I'll put some links in the description so you can go and have a look at those. Because, you know, typically she sounds like a bucket of angry wasps. Yeah, when you're riding her. And it's, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. I will be sad to see her go. So, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, and an icon an icon of the 1980s, 90s, is now leaving uh, the garage, shall we say, and the guy picks it up in, what, some half an hour's time. He's going to be riding it home. There we go. Which is not too far away. He's not, he's not riding it too far. But, uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful bike to have and remind myself of the, the 80s and 90s when I used to ride on two strokes. Have a great day, ride safely, be kind to everyone. Please subscribe. Please like if you found it useful and informative. And don't forget to turn notifications on for future videos coming up. See you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.